you said you got into financing, but then you said that you kind of had, you felt like you were, you had a, a better calling and everything like that. So I always ask people like, what is your origin story? So like, what got you wanting to be more so in the entertainment business? Like before even realizing in that financial situation that you were in, that, um, um, that you have a better calling, like where that stem from? So I, I have the belief that you are born with your purpose, like your, like, especially your passion, your calling in life, you know, whatever you want to call it, um, your profession, your career, the one that, that drives you and motivates you, like you're born with that, I think. Because uh, to me, I feel like that's God given. Now, the key is to find what that is. A lot of times people get trapped into jobs that, you know, just make them money because they're like, hey, I need money. You know, I got to work whether I want this job or not, I need the money. And then you just end up getting in that whole rat race of like getting up, going to work, getting up, going to work. Um, and then it's just not your passion. So I feel like, you know, I always, my passion always was this. It was always a host. It was always an entertainer. I grew up wanting to be a lawyer. Um, and then when I worked in finance, I was working with some lawyers and I was just like, oh, never mind. I don't want to do that. <laughs> But I always liked the arts. I always thought that I would be like on E! News or something. But being being half Korean, being half Asian, a lot of Asians will tell you that your parent, Asian parents was just like doctor, lawyer, accountant. And that's probably most immigrant parents. You know, because I know my Nigerian friends are the same way. Like, I was about to say that, yeah. You, yeah, you can only be like these per, these few professions that are like very held in high regard. And you know, my mom and dad, I just didn't think that they would want me to be an actor or an entertainer. Cause you know, what's the money in that? And so I had this belief, this false belief that the only people that are in entertainment, you know, acting specifically are people who aren't talented any other way. So they had to do this <laughs> when, it's, when it's quite the opposite. Now that I, I'm actually a SAG actress and I will tell you acting is one of the hardest things to do. It's so hard that I don't even act as much anymore. I do more hosting because I feel more comfortable being myself. But like, I just had this false belief that it was not respectable. Right. to do a job like that. And so I got my, you know, finance and marketing degree, went to go work in finance and was miserable. I was good at it, but I was miserable. And I remember I used to sit on the toilet at work. I, I wouldn't even have to pee. I would just go to the bathroom and I would like sit in the stall, close the door. And I'd be like, God, thank you for this job. Can you please let me really like it? Thank you for this job. And then like I learned in church, you're supposed to like thank God in advance. So I was like, well, maybe if I thank God enough, then I'll start to like it. Cause that's really what it is. It's a great job. I just don't like it. I don't like what I'm doing. And, you know, long story short, I ended up um, going to a, a, like a quick certification program for radio and TV broadcasting. Um, and every day, like I was so happy. It was when I was there, I was like, this is like what I want to do. And I ended up interning at the radio station in Atlanta. And then I went to, from there, I intern at a TV station. And like, I just loved it. And all while I'm still working at the accounting firm, I had no clue. So I was not sleeping. I yeah. probably was sleeping like two, three hours a night for like a year. My hair was falling out. Like it does y'all need get sleep y'all. Cause it, <laughs> does, it messes up your body if you don't. Yeah. But, um, I ended up doing that for like a year. And then I finally got a job in radio in Dallas. So I moved. And so then that began my journey, you know, into basically like getting paid right. to do my passion. And then from there I moved to LA, uh, moved a couple of places, but settled in LA. And then I started working and then people think it's so easy. Like, oh yeah, you just, you know, you. it took me four years of working three to four jobs at once yeah. to finally get one job that paid me enough to pay my bills. And I think people don't understand that hustle. Like they they see the they see where you're at and they're like, oh, I want to do that. But I'm like, but are you willing to work Man. like I worked? Listen, 